Hello, my name is Rhonda Pownell and I'm the mayor of Norfield. I am so proud of all of you for your courage, grace, and flexibility in this unusual school year. And I'm excited for all that you are learning and all that you are becoming. It's a pleasure to be with you today to talk about the Mayor for a Day essay contest. First, before I do that, I'd like to share some background information about our city. As mayor, I work alongside some pretty amazing public servants on the city council. They are at-large counselor Clarice Graybaugh, at-large counselor Brad Ness, Ward 1 counselor Susie Nakazian, Ward 2 counselor Jamie Reister, Ward 3 counselor George Zuccolato, and Ward 4 counselor Jessica Peterson-White. If you pause the video and look closely at the city ward map, you will be able to find where you live or go to school and who your ward representative is. When you turn 18, you become eligible to vote and will be able to vote for a total of four members of our city council. On this next slide, you will see our City of Norfield vision. Our vision is an aspirational statement of not only who we are, but also who we want to become. You will see it talks about an open, safe, welcoming community, our world-class colleges, historic riverfront downtown, and sustainably enhancing our vibrant culture, celebrated arts, strong economy, and excellent quality of life where all can thrive. Our state of Minnesota has over 854 cities of all different sizes. City leaders, along with all of you, play a really important role in making sure that the general services for our communities are provided for. As you look at the picture of the city on the left, you will see the different places that the city receives money through state and local taxes. These taxes, together along with fees and grants, is the money that the city has to work with to fund city services like clean water, parks, libraries, public safety, trash collection, streets, and sidewalks. There are many examples of city services listed on this next slide that you and your family, friends, and neighbors who live in our community rely on each and every day. Now on to our Mayor for a Day essay contest. In order to be eligible to participate, you must be a fourth or fifth grader who attends school within the Northfield School District and have completed the essay on your own. This year's essay question focuses on leadership character traits. Leaders like state senators, representatives, mayors, and council members are often elected to office due to important issues that they support for the community they serve. They promise to work for affordable housing, more jobs, or to protect lakes, forests, and rivers. However, the character traits of a leader are equally important and will play a major role in a leader's ability to successfully help the people in their community. If you were mayor for a day, what three leadership character traits would be the most important to have to be a great leader for the city of Norfield? Please give an example of how a leader that you have learned about in history has led with the three character traits you selected. Some examples of leadership character traits include honesty, courage, confidence, passionate, accountability, resilience, humility, and empathy. There are many more, but the ones listed can give you an idea of what leadership traits are. Choose three leadership traits that you think would be the most important to have as a leader in order to bring forth positive change and successfully help the people in your community. Then think about leaders from the past that you've learned about in history who have led with those characteristics. Here you will see some examples of leaders from the past who've led successfully with great compassion, empathy, resilience, courage and honesty to make our world a better place. They've inspired people through selfless acts of service and compelling messages that encourage people to dream of a better world. Their commitment to helping others has changed the course of history. As part of your essay response, tell us about a historical leader from the past and give an example 
of how they led with the three leadership character traits you chose. Three top winning essays in both fourth and fifth grade will be chosen. Winners will receive $20 chamber bucks, a certificate of recognition, be featured in a Northfield news release, have your winning essay displayed at City Hall and the Northfield Library, be recognized at the State of the City event and ride in the City of Northfield defeat of Jesse James Day float. The deadline for the essay is February 19th. You can find all the details on the city's website. Happy writing, and I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you.